Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Project Ascension. We're on the Season 8 update that just came out. Today, we're going to be playing our Wind Rager build that we're working on. And we're checking out some of the newest updates, some of the new UI features that they got here. The main big thing about this update is that you can now play with a lot of abilities and your new Mystic Enchants from level 1. And the cool thing about the Mystic Enchants, I'll show you here, is they are character bound instead of gear bound. So you can pop all your Mystic Enchants for the whole 1 through 60, 1 through 70. And you don't have to worry about a new piece of gear ruining your enchants or taking it off. That's pretty sweet. We also started out with Storm Strike, which turns into Wind Strike for this uh, enchant here. And that is from level one. So you don't have to wait until you get to that level to get that ability. Um, there are some other abilities you really you have to wait for, so that makes sense. But a lot of the core abilities like this, you don't have to wait for, which is pretty sweet. As well as we went with uh, Slice and Dice, Sinister Strike, and Thunder Clap to kind of tie into that. Show you a little bit of the enchants. We got some strength, some crit, some extra mana. Um, energy, we got Zephyr, which is really good for Wind Fury once we get that. Uh, counter on points, some extra regen for energy, and then some extra attack power. And then I will show you the skill cards we got here, some extra damage, and then these two, which are very important, Hurricane and Wind Fury. So we do still have to wait for those, but the core abilities like Wind Strike uh, slash Storm Strike is available at level 1. Um, just got a couple little things on the gear here. And we're going to be playing through, see how we fare, and uh, maybe try some raids out eventually. That would be pretty fun. I don't know if it'll be in this video, but I do want to give that a shot um, until the uh, Ice Crown stuff comes out for Lich King. I'm pretty excited for that. Hopefully that drops soon. Server is okay. There's not a lot of people on it, so I think it's a little bit boring. But uh, I'm pretty excited to see some of these new updates and uh, play through. I got a experience potion. There's not too many people over here. There was a hot spot, but... A lot of the guys are dead already, so I'm going to grind it out, try out this uh, build, and see how we like these new... It's already nice because I don't have to worry about gear. As soon as I level up, I have all my enchants. They're always there. And then uh, once I get to the higher levels, I can take advantage of Wind Fury and stuff like that, so... Alright, boys, we just hopped into a battleground. We're going to see how this goes. We all have a charge, which kind of sucks. We end up grabbing Victory Rush and Seal of Wisdom. So... Decent stuff. The seal will come in handy, but unless I'm really slapping people, I ain't gonna be using victory rush very often, or need to at least. Oh, we level up. Alright, sweet. We got judgment and wisdom. That is uh it's okay. It's the best of what we got. Yeah, I was trying to play on uh area 52 because I wanted to start that server up again. And uh, there was like nobody on it, so it was kinda of disappointing. So, since I have everything on this server, I guess we'll play this one. I mean, this one runs a lot better. I don't know if anybody else has issues with that. Definitely drop a comment, but, like, I'd be getting really bad frames on the other server for whatever reason. Dropping down to, like, 20 most of the time, especially in the cities. And it was not only a bad frame rate, but, like, very, very choppy. And, like, it was almost like I needed to turn on V-Sync or something, but nothing really worked. There we go. Oh! Oh, he got one health left. Oh, shit. Dang. Oh, there we go, boys. Oh, we killed him, too. Nice. Did some damage. Holy shit. He hit me once, and I was almost dead, but then I just plowed him. The boys, we just hopped into a dungeon. Some dead mines. Blast through this. We got about half an hour on our XP. I think it was like 70 gold, so it wasn't really too bad. And the nice thing about playing on the server is uh played on a lot more, so I have a lot more money and progression on it. Slap up this boss. We need a uh, finisher. Viscerate or something. Ooh, this guy's got the bears. That's great. And there he's down for the count. Nice. What's this? Ooh, unidentified. Sweet. Two hammers. Eventually when I get Titan's Rip, I think is uh, good for this build.
Alrighty guys, welcome back. We're at level 70. We made it. We got a bunch of new abilities, some talents, all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, first off, some of the talents that we went with. We ended up going with agility instead of strength. Uh, that seemed to do a lot better. Um, a lot of warrior type stuff, some shaman stuff, and some rogue mainly. A lot of stuff for combat type of attacking. Um, we ended up picking up the hemorrhage, so that's a little nicer. 28 energy versus, I think, Sinister Strike's like 50 almost, so that helps out a lot. Uh, we got the Hurricane Strike, which needed the Hurricane. We got Judgment of Justice, which is nice for slow, as well as a Curse of Exhaustion. Whirlwind, we finally rolled that. I forgot to put that in my skill cards. Yeah, so we did get everything. We got Victory Rush and Blessing, but I got I re rolled those. Um, we got a Whirlwind, luckily. It took a little while, but we finally got it because that's part of the build. Um, Earth Shock's not too bad. Hemorrhage and a couple other little things here and there. This new grappling hook ability, which is pretty sweet. You can throw it out. It's a little bit of a pain on hills and inclines, but after you throw it out, you also have the ability to recast it towards an enemy. And like basically, it's kind of like a backwards death grip. You can hook yourself to them. Uh, we just got the blink. We haven't used that one yet. Some CC stuff. We've got this dragon breath. A couple burst stuff. Some other random stuff we have here and there. Um, some heals and then some of the buffs we got we got this blessing of might I stuck with this one instead of the kings because there's this perk here this guy right here This also gives you extra attack power. So we went with that um, And as well as it's agility and attack power. So that's nice it kind of weighed out the kings by a lot So we stuck with that. We just picked this up um, Wind fear we need that that's for the build. We have to, we have to recast that um, and then a couple other little odds and ends, some extra armor, which is great. Uh, seal wisdom. I don't even know that's active, but um, a couple little things here and there. The armor is nice, especially with the warrior's armor to the teeth. That always comes in handy. And there's a couple other things here and there that increases like how much armor you get. So if you want to bulk up all the attack power. We had a lot of gear from being level 60 maxed out from the pvp gear so as soon as we hit 60 we dumped all that gear on and we were slapping battlegrounds we were doing so much damage um we still kind of squishy which sucked which sucked but uh we were really hitting some heavy hits especially with wind strike even whirlwind would do a lot of damage especially with like pets and stuff like that would just chunk them um other than that we are just kind of cruising at the moment we're gonna do a little bit of a rotation here i'll show you how that is oh it looks like this guy's got something going on too yeah, he might have a similar build. Um, but yeah, usually I would start out, I try to get as close as I can to them, so I don't have to worry about blinking or charging. But even right there, that's 1,500, 2,500 right there. Um, and then even the auto attacks are pretty hefty. Um, we hit up with a wind strike as much as we can. Um, if hurricane strike pops up, we hit that. Um, and then basically rotate between those two. Um, if I don't have anything else, the whirlwind's great. Look how much damage that hit. Um, if they're getting away judgment justice or if it's cooldown as well as the hemorrhage is nice kind of build it up quickly um, Because it gives you the increased damage and then you do a little bit extra with all your attacks um, Our crit is very high, which is very important for this build. It's at 52 I do have some talents and stuff that give me extra crit towards enemies who are lower health than me and such um, And I think one other one um, Slice and dice is nice gives you an extra attack and then if I pop my wind fury totem I have this thing that gives me extra attack power just from popping that for five minutes. And then also get the and blows and the flurry. So a lot of extra damage coming in. And then basically you just kind of follow the rotation, um, whatever kind of situational stuff you're in. Try to pop the uh, wind strike as much as you can, as well as the hurricane. And then over the uh, whirlwind when you can. Yeah, not too bad so far. And then once you build up your talent points, your um, combo points, you hit the eviscerate. I was hoping to get like a stun or something with the rogue abilities or recuperate, but I wasn't able to roll that. So, but we're doing pretty good so far. Pretty good damage. We, uh, there are some other perks you could do to keep up slice and dice, but I didn't see it very viable. I'd rather just have the flat damage versus the uh, attack speed. But yeah, it's pretty fun to play. It definitely hits hard in PvP. Uh, I haven't done too much on the dungeon side or raids yet. I did a few dungeons, but they were before I really got any abilities. So, but it's pretty fun. I have some burst stuff down here too. I can always pop uh, Bloodthirst, which doesn't really do too much, but yeah, it's pretty fun so far. Now, in terms of these guys, I did change these up quite a bit because I went from strength to agility. I went with the agility here. Uh, we have the energy regen, uh, the slice and dice stuff. I just kept it there. It's kind of a placeholder. I didn't know what I wanted to fill it with yet, but we also went with Hunter versus Wild, some extra attack power per stamina. Um, the Counterpoise kept that, kept the Zephyr. Kept, uh, of course, a Wind Rager, dual wield spec, um, extra energy. 
all those are pretty important but i think these slice and dices can definitely be swapped out i haven't really went too in depth of them yet but i'm sure there's a lot of good stuff in here that would uh suffice for these this is the the talent that i was talking about the 10 percent when they have less health and i think we have one other one like that that uh it's just extra crit or something like that, but that comes in handy. That's 10%. That's a pretty big chunk. There's a few other things in here that are pretty good, but since I wasn't using poisons, I didn't feel like it would be as good if I, unless I was using poisons. But yeah, so far, it's so so good. It's pretty fun. Uh, I got the Berserker Sand, which gives me a little extra crit. And then we also just have some CC stuff, which I went over for uh, Battlegrounds and stuff like that. One thing that kind of sucks about Battlegrounds, no matter what you're playing, um, is you just kind of get ganked up a lot. You get like five, six people on you at the same time. There's only so much you can do there. Um, but I do want to try to see if I can hop into maybe a group finder or something. What do we have? Heroic and Mythics. That'd be pretty sweet. Oh, it's not released yet. We can do a Heroic and see how we do in there. 25 gold. That's cool. Um, I noticed the Battlegrounds are way faster queue, so I've been doing a lot of those. All right, boys. We finally got in one. We got into uh, Caverns of Time. I'm going to play this one in a forever, but I know it's kind of a pain. So we'll uh, just hit it up, get out some of our uh, stacks. I want to probably use Whirlwind a lot in here because it's AoE, which is going to be hopefully good. Um, but most of my damage is for a single target other than the Whirlwind, so we'll have to see how that does. Get a lot of these scrolls here. They just gave you a uh, different enchants, which is pretty cool. Pop our loot bot down. It's cool to see all these different abilities, like this Bulwark thing that he's got here on the uh, custom servers. Ooh, boys. Big boy boss. Take him out. Dang, they keep fearing in this place. Uh oh. Taking some damage, I'm not sure why. Got a little hammer. There we go. Now he's coming. There we go, boys. Took him out. A bunch of stuff. Anything good? No, not really. So yeah, boys. That was a little bit of a uh, dabble into the latest update. Not just a lot of content yet, but a lot of uh, nice features. Uh, one of the new builds I haven't played yet, the Wind Rager, seemed pretty cool. Definitely could use some tweaking. Um, different cards would probably definitely uh, help it out a little bit. But it was a pretty fun build. Uh, good, good damage, at least in PvP. I don't know. <laughs> it seemed too much in a in a, that dungeon there. But yeah, pretty fun to play. I definitely had some fun. I might prestige this guy a few times, get some more prestige stuff so he gets more heirlooms. And then we can play more builds. That'd be pretty sweet. But uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys like the video. If there's a build you want me to try out or some ideas, definitely drop them down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.